Welcome to another Form Titan video and in this video we'll, we'll show you how to push data using Element Switcher. Okay, first thing first, I'll get some very standard details here like <coughs> first name and last name and we'll use email as well. So we're just going to create a contact but these are just the basic details that we need to create them. Now I'm going to focus on our switcher. Okay, so there are a couple of things we're going to do. We're going to push a donated amount into Salesforce. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the left caption. So we'll move this in a little bit like this. Like this. And then what I'll do is I'll set the amount here. I'll, get, I'll even get rid of this. And we'll set the amount here to be, I don't know, uh, $10. Uh, we'll do 10 and then I'll hide the indicators as well. And we'll get one more. Okay, so this one can be $20. This one can be $30. All right, and then what I'll do is I'll set up <coughs> style for this. So we'll say the active line will be color red and then we'll set that for every single one here div line to be red active line to be red okay so let's just quickly test and see how that looks in the real world Okay, it's green, there's red, red, so we just need to fix the top one. Okay, so let's do that. There. And then finally, I'll also make sure that the point is set to red as well for each one. Again, you can just modify these completely from any that you choose within the style. All right, so let's have a look. So let's refresh this. Great, great, great. Perfect. That's what I want to see. Nice little Christmas colors as well. Okay, next up, what I want to do is get a hidden field. And we'll say donated amount. Now, I'm going to make things a little bit trickier here, so feel free to slow down the video if you're not following, but you should be able to follow quite easily. I'm going to write a condition on each one of these. I'm going to say conditioning. I'm going to say if current field equals true, then I'll tell you what, before I do any of that, I'm going to call this switcher one and I'm tagging them at the moment so it's easier to identify them when it comes to mapping and then switcher three okay so we go back here we go to advanced conditioning set condition if current field equals true then set the value zero for switcher two and then switcher three however in the donated amount set the value to be ten dollars okay so click apply and i'm going to uncheck support opposite here for now and in these ones i'm going to set the same conditions for each one i'm going to say current field equals true then switcher one set value to be zero means off, set value for number three to be zero, and then set the donated amount to be $20. <coughs> and then the final one, I'll do the same thing. I'll say if current field equals true, then go ahead and set the switcher one value to be zero, 
switcher to value to be zero, and then set the donated amount to be $30. Okay, so let's go and test and see if our logic is working correctly. So I'm going to quickly enable my hidden fields. Cool, it's already enabled. Let's check. Let's test this. There's my hidden. Ten dollars, perfect. Twenty dollars, thirty dollars, and you can, as you can see, every time I switch one on, the other one turns off. So I'm giving the user the option to only select one value at a time. Okay, just like that. Ten, twenty, thirty, perfect. Basically, that's all we want. Now I'm just going to simply add a submit button. And then we'll just go and push the data to Salesforce. Let's get a submit button here. Like this. And then we go to our push. Add object. We're going to create a new contact. We'll call it switcher push. Map fields. Last name, first name, we'll use email, and then we'll also use donated amount, and then I will use the hidden field donated amount value. So not only you can use for the purposes I'm using, and you can also collect if it's like a yes or no. So let's say for example, I'll copy this switcher here. And we'll call this one marketing switcher. And then let's say I add a little caption here saying, do you give us permission to market you in the future? Okay, something like this. And then let's say my left caption is no, and my right caption is yes. Okay, and then now I can just use this to my I consent field here, which is just a checkbox to see if they actually consent. So let's go to the push map fields. So I can choose I consent, and then I will choose my marketing switcher here. Okay, click apply and finish. Right, let's go and test. We'll say switcher contact, switcher at formtitan.com. I want to donate $30 and I can choose any value and you can see it's always changing. It's really, really good functionality. Okay, I'm going to stick to 30. There's my $30 value. Do you give us permission to market you in the future? I'll say yes, and I'll go ahead and submit. Now this is submitted. Let's go and check our integration logs and see if it's completed. And then let's see. Okay, it looks like it has an error, so it is that it can't deserialize, so it won't accept the dollar amount in there. So what we'll do is, we'll just go ahead and get rid of the dollar value. So we'll click on this, conditioning, so configure conditions, so configure, and we'll get rid of the dollar and we'll just leave it to 10. We'll do the same for every single one here. Okay. All right, so let's try this again. Call it switcher titan switch at titan dot com. I want to give twenty. Yes. Click submit. Okay, now it's submitted. Let's see if that's 
There we go. There's a record now being created. So we're going to this record now. So there you go. You can see that the amount has come in nicely, which is very good. It's checked do I consent. So both of us switcher are working really, really nicely in terms of passing the value <coughs> into my contact record directly. And this is how it's done. You just simply set up your switches, make sure, treat them like a checkbox or a radio button, make sure you map them correctly into your push and you'll be good to go.